In his ruling, Justice Edward Chum noted that while the police erred in filing their injunction application by using the Republic instead of the Ghana Police Service or IGP, it was empowered by the Law Officers Act to carry out the injunction. He thus overruled the minority's preliminary objection to the injunction and gave the police seven days to amend the application. The case has been adjourned to September 18 for the court to determine the injunction application by the Ghana Police Service against the protest. Reacting to the ruling, NDC Communications Officer Sami Jenfi commended the party's team. This is a very important contribution to the uh, development of the law. It's a very landmark ruling that uh, for us students of the law, we are very much interested in. And so, commendation to our lawyers, commendation to the minority caucus, commendation to Arise Ghana and all the civil society organizations and progressive forces who are joining us in this struggle. This is not a fight for the NDC, this is not a fight for the minority caucus. It's a fight for the ordinary Ghanaian because the recklessness of the governor, his deputies and the board of directors of the Bank of Ghana is what has plunged all of us into the excruciating hardships we currently find ourselves in. The Minority Chief Whip and Member of Parliament for Adaklu, Gavin Skwami Agboja, described the police's view of the premises of the Bank of Ghana as an attempt to thwart the protest against the governor. You can even protest in front of White House today, and people do it on a daily basis. Is the Bank of Ghana more secure, uh, they require more security than the front of Flagstar House, than the uh, front of Parliament? I think this is just as uh, the, our police have said. Leader. It's just an attempt to lead Meanwhile, the police cancelled a scheduled meeting with the minority MPs on the way forward regarding their protest. Lord Edouard Sari, TV3 News, Accra.